and I am back once again with another One Piece video, man. So look, since people say that Gear 5 Luffy can beat Goku, we're about to learn all about Gear 5 that we know of right now. All right, so I'm ready to Luffy Gear 5 and Awakening fully explained. So let, let me, hey, look, look, look. y'all saying he got Toon Force or whatever the case may be. I don't, I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a Dragon Ball tar. So like, you know, not tar, but I know a lot about Dragon Ball. I'm not, I'm not stupid when it comes to Dragon Ball. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so people saying he can beat Goku in gear five because of Toon Force. I don't know how, how Toon Force comes into play with his gear five. But um, anyways, man, hit the like button. Comment down below who you think will win in the fight, Goku or Luffy Gear 5. Um, and hit the subscribe button, man. Let's get into this video. So in chapter 1045, we got a pretty good explanation as to what's going on with Luffy's new Gear 5 slash Devil Fruit Awakening. And we also got to see some amazing feats of him. Okay, hold on. So Gear 5 is his Devil Fruit Awakening. So like all the other gears are just just the Devil Fruit, just, just how strong the Devil Fruit is without Awakening. That's crazy. That is crazy. Embarrassing Kaido in literally comical fashion. So I want to talk about all of that in this video, but let me start from the beginning of how Luffy got to this point. So while Luffy was fighting Kaido, he was kind of coming to his exhaustion point. He was using his last resort in Gear 4 Snake Man. And when he was going for his final blow against Kaido, one of the CP0 agents came out. Hey, this is manga, so this is Kenner, right? This is... Yeah on orders of the Gorosei to take down Luffy and distracted him. Allowing that's Kaido why his, his little pussy ass, that's why he did it, because he had to do orders, or I think they said they would kill him or something like that. I think that's what someone told me. He had to do that, or he would be killed himself. Man, man, y'all saw some observation hockey. He couldn't use that to, to sense him or whatever. Man, he, he, he need to have used that. He's in a fight. Why wouldn't he try to use observation hockey so he could like dodge and stuff in a fight? Saying that he needed his mind and body to be. So I don't know what else to talk about. But he should have used observation hockey regardless. Because he's in a fight. One final bonk on the back of his head. Which at that point seemed like he had defeated him. But Kaido made the mistake that a lot of shonen battle manga villains make. And that was defeating the MC at the end of a crucial arc. Because it was this defeat that led Luffy to awakening his fruit. And becoming the new sun god Nika. Now other than the plot requiring this of course. This could possibly. Okay so his fruit allows him to become a sun god nika named nika um why doesn't they just say he becomes this like come on so the power of his fruit is of the sun god named nika so that's nika's power like is that and he's just getting it so does all the fruits come from a from some sort of a god or a also be explained by crocodile's dialogue back in chapter 544 when we see the jailer zone and impel down like come back after being defeated mm. crocodile says he was revived of course that's an awakened zoan type ability user their abnormal resilience is their strong point if we keep wasting time the three from before will be up too so that might be a little confusing for a few reasons because if you're not up to date with this story because you might be thinking wait luffy doesn't have a Zoan fruit. He has a paramecia gum yeah. gum rubber fruit. Well, yeah, that's what we were led to believe for over 20 years at this point. But it turns out this whole time that was just disinformation spread by the Gorosei. Because it's heavily implied that this fruit originally belonged to Joy Boy. But also, aside from that, it's apparently the most ridiculous power in the world. So they decided to rename the fruit to the gum gum you know, rubber fruit. In hopes of, I guess, having people disinterested in it. But it turns out that this fruit is truly a mythical zoan type the human human fruit model nika and they further go it's a mythical zoan oh now we getting somewhere it's not a paramecia it's a mythical zoan going to say that the user of this fruit so that's how he's able to like um awaken it because they said, like, the Lugias, they haven't seen the Lugia Awakening yet or anything like that. So, 
possesses a body with the properties of rubber and fighting in whatever way they fancy, bringing smiles to the faces of people. Awakening brings his rubbery body greater physical strength and freedom. It is said that in all of the world, there is no power more ridiculous. And that's not hyperbole, because in chapter 1044 and more so 1045, we see that that's a pretty accurate statement. So once Luffy has awakened, he looks like this. And according to Yamato and Momonosuke in chapter 1044, 45, they say that his hair and clothes are all white. Now, other than this being a pretty cool aesthetic, the explanation for this could be because of the natural properties of rubber. Because rubber comes from latex that comes from rubber oh. trees. And the natural latex is like a white liquidy substance. I never knew that. I never knew now, that. as for the rubber coming from trees and just trees in general go much deeper than just that. A lot of you know by now that Oda has built one piece by combining multiple lores and mythologies. I mean, so many. This Nika individual that this fruit is based off of, while we don't know their- Yeah, I was heard that um, person who made One Piece was, was uh, inspired, inspired by, I'm not saying fully inspired by, but he was inspired by Dragon Ball. Um, so, you know, and Dragon Ball was inspired by the Journey to the West. Mikey, Mikey, what was his name? Mikey King? Monkey, I forget his name. Their exact origin and myth in the One Piece world, Oda himself built it off of many lores and mythologies because it also goes back to what the Gorosei was saying when they were explaining this fruit. Mm. This particular fruit has the name of a god. Part of it could come from Maldives mythology about the wish tree Nika. Part of it could also come from Indian mythology about a god who lives in a tree and can grant wishes and is kind of like a genie type yeah, I was just about to say genie. Which we see Luffy kind of exhibiting genie type qualities, I suppose. If you would like a super deep dive into all of this stuff, check out the video yeah but it's like it's like hold on so it's like he just so so he he has rubber because it comes from a tree right that's like rubber you know what i'm saying and then because of that mythology from a genie he, he gets that power when he's awakened so It'll take you to Uteron's channel, the guy who discovered all this stuff. But anyway, let's go into what Luffy can do once he is in this form. So as the Gorosei said, he can fight any way he fancies and has freedom. And that's very much true because Kaido says in chapter 1045 that he can make his surroundings rubbery like a Paramecia awakening, but his transformation is more like that of a typical Zoan fruit. So Luffy is getting the best of both worlds here because he can alter his surroundings things like what we've seen of awakened paramecias such as Doflamingo and Katakuri. We saw Luffy grip up the ground, turn it to rubber to block one of Kaido's bolo breaths. But not only that, but he can okay. also make other people become rubber, such as what we saw with Kid's Awakening when he made Big Mom a magnet. Because in chapter 1045, Luffy makes Kaido become rubber on multiple occasions. But the most significant comes at the end of the chapter when he literally punches through Kaido's head. But not to the point of where, you know, he's like puncturing his skull and killing him. You know, since he's just making him rubber, he's kind of just giving him a super deep punch through the head. Oh, okay. Also Oh, okay. So he made other people rubber, but that doesn't stop them from being strong. A lot of people have, I know, um, when I was speaking to in chats, they were saying that, oh, he can just make, you know, Goku rubber. And that, that doesn't stop him from being strong still, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't see how that's going to beat Goku rubber. If he, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm waiting to hear about like some tune for stuff, but I'm not seeing that. It's just rubber. So what Luffy does to lead up to this one big attack where he's like punching in Kaido's head, we see him become like this tornado of fists in this awesome sequence. And I think this might be a callback to chapter 589 when we see the flashback of Luffy initially doing his training after receiving the rubber fruit, or in this case, the mythical Nika fruit. He's performing a similar move here. Mm. And of course being laughed at by Ace, which I'm sure goes back to what the Gorosei initially planned with their, you know, disinformation 
information campaign. But if that wasn't enough, there are more elements to it because Kaido further says, describing Luffy's power here, that he's coated with armament and conqueror's hockey, and he can influence anything around him with his ability. So we saw previously in this arc with Luffy's very long fight against Kaido that Luffy could use conqueror's hockey as a method of attack, similar to how we've seen previously with armament hockey. But now in gear five slash this awakening, Luffy's just taking it to the next level. And aside from so, oh, I thought he was using both others, Luffy before. of course oh. has complete freedom and manipulation of himself, even more so than what we've seen before, of course, because Luffy could just take hits from Kaido unlike he had before, but also he can like make himself a literal giant at this point. This could be a parallel to okay. the original Joy Boy, who at this point is heavily implied to have been a giant, at least going off of the big straw hat that we see Emu observing in Mary Joie. Also, all of the secrecy and ties to Elbaf, as well as them having the Atom Tree, that could be a parallel to the whole Nika Tree as well, maybe. But if the original Joy Boy wasn't a giant, his giant straw hat could just be because he may have always perpetually been in this huge, manipulated Nika rubber form. Not really sure yet, but you know, we'll find out in a few years, I'm sure. Okay, and so, so, the other so like. It would be smart if they made him like a genius, if they go by that mytho mythology. Um, and then by that, I, I, I would say he, he could definitely beat Goku because genies are powerful, you know what I'm saying? And he's not bound to anything, so genies unbound is like the most powerful being. But um, it doesn't look like that's the case that they're going with abilities and whatnot that we just went over i can't forget to mention that he's just absolutely bustedly strong as well i mean not just like on the power scale i mean like quite literally physically super strong i mean he manhandles kaido multiple times throughout and also at a point he just slams him on the ground just like how nightmare luffy did to oars and i'm pretty sure that is a direct parallel from Oda mm. there because there are similarities between luffy inheriting that new personality from nightmare luffy as well well, as him inheriting this new Nightmare. personality from the fruit awakening with the whole joy boy thing so yeah that is luffy's gear five pretty okay. ridiculous but i think in the best possible way right Let hey man i know i know everybody here you know ready to see gear five luffy in animation i am too all right i ain't, I ain't even a one piece fan but i'm here to see it you feel me i feel like the animation is gonna be clean hopefully they get his design perfectly um they're saying he's gonna be white you know so when he was in the giant form that he was yellow hopefully they don't i don't know i don't know what they're gonna do with it but we're gonna see we're here for that anyways like i said like man hit the like button right now man comment down below who you think will win in the fight your five luffy or goku um also subscribe button, man yeah.